I have some uh, experiences of becoming the speakers of a big event such as a national seminar or even of an international workshop or conference. So my, uh, my name was mentioned by the master of ceremony or the moderator. And then they read my CV and make some nice wording to create positive and inspiring climate during uh, my speaking. So that was very motivating, not only for the audience, but also for me as the speaker. So, and I do believe that, yeah, the, the audience were influenced very much by those introduction speech as well. So what happened when a moderator or a master of ceremony fails to make a good impression about the speaker and uh, the topic of speaking to move the audience heart or feeling? I think this is important question that we need to anticipate. So let's uh, continue to what is actually uh, the introduction speech. Introduction speech is a speech that introduces the main speaker to the audience. So there are many events requiring the committee to introduce the speaker. For example, in a seminar or webinar, workshop or training, conference, and uh, most events inviting guest speaker must require us to make an introduction speech. So the main purpose of the introduction speech is uh, to create a great uh, impressions and give inspiration uh, to the audience related to the speaker's great accomplishment, achievement, and also related to the topic to be delivered. So who have the responsibility of delivering the introduction speech? Yes, of course, the master of ceremony or uh, the moderator uh, of the event. So what is the difference between both master of ceremony and moderator? Master of Ceremony handles almost the overall events from the start and uh, leading the overall parts of the random, of course, until uh, closing the event. So it is not easy job, actually. And the success of the event uh, will depend very much on the MC skills and ability to create impressive and inspiring moment from the first of uh, the event until uh, the closing. While moderator leads some main parts of the rundown only. So for instance, during a conference, there are some plenary sections led by a moderator. And from the start of the section until the end, a moderator is responsible to lead. Therefore, he or she is responsible for delivering an introduction speech to uh, introduce the keynote speaker to the audience. So he or she needs to know the speaker's bio data or CV and easily connect between the speaker's strengths and also the, the topic of the speech. Right, let's continue. So what are the purposes of uh, the introduction speech? Of course, yes, introducing the speaker, right. <laughs> but. Uh, what are expected with the introduction speech? Of course, we want to build enthusiasm for the upcoming speaker. So to do that, it needs more than just speaking loudly to the audience. I have seen uh, many MC or moderator rely themselves on their beautiful voice, but results in value in building uh, the audience enthusiasm. So to deliver a successful introduction speech, we need to prepare it well. We need to learn the contextual background and situation. And then we, we need to know the speaker well, plan what to say, of course. And then the second um, is to build enthusiasm for the speaker's topic. So it means that moderator or MC does not rely on voice and spontaneity in speaking, but more on reading, learning, and also planning on what topic will be delivered by the speaker. And by knowing about the topic, he or she might be able to crystallize uh, some powerful wording related to the topic to support uh, the speaker's uh, speech. And the third is to establish a welcoming climate uh, that will boost the speaker's credibility. In doing this, there is no other way except 
we know uh, well about the speaker, the topic, and its contextual background of the speaking. So we ask the MC or moderator need to discover how might the speaker's strengths relevant to the main issues and fill the void in the forthcoming speaking. So this is how we can help increase the speaker's credibility. Let's continue to what to prepare. Of course, first thing that we need to prepare is uh, positive and accurate information about the speaker. So getting the accurate information about the speaker is very important here. So what if, for example, um, if we get a negative information when exploring about him or her, the speaker, I mean. So of course, do not tell a lie, but we cannot, uh, I mean, it cannot deny that the focus of our uh, speech is, uh, of course, something good related to the speaker. So we can ignore the negative information, try to focus on what are great and positive. Remember that uh, this event is not to blame or criticize someone. Be consistent on the main role of the introduction speech here, uh, which is uh, to create an excellent impression about the speaker. And then the second, materials related to the speaker's excellencies yeah this is important materials related to the speaker's excellencies to the audiences and the topic it is a must for a moderator or mc of an event to get the speakers or the guest cv or bio data beforehand so he or she has to spend enough time to learn it and of course to triangulate uh, with the other sources of information where possible or necessary to make sure that uh, we really have information which is uh, accurate and also credible. And then the third, materials about the topic. Of course, uh, you are not going to compete with the speaker, right? So what you need to hear to uh, be able to highlight uh, the contextual issues and figure out how to connect between the issues, the topic will be addressed and uh, the audience need. So in this case, we need to read and learn something about the topic before uh, the event. And then uh, the next is knowledge of the audiences. Of course, this is what we usually learn in public speaking. We cannot speak without knowing our uh, audience. So the audience is the reason of the event conducted. They are also the reason why we invite the speaker. And for the speaker, they are the reason for him or her to speak. So therefore, uh, knowing about them will uh, help both the MC moderator and the speaker to decide what to say. And the next is confidence and enthusiasm. So we cannot ask someone to try, uh, this, this is just an illustration. We cannot ask someone to try uh, kimchi, a Korean food, if you know. Uh, because only because we think that this food is uh, delicious and healthy because you will be asked so why have you tried kimchi before imagine then you answer uh, him or her uh, actually no not yet i haven't tried kimchi then this is weird right because in this case we have to be honest that you are not qualified to ask someone else to eat kimchi because you haven't tried it so the same thing applied here. So how can you build enthusiasm among the audience when you are not confident and enthusiastic about the speaker and also the topic to be delivered? This is important. 